Do, 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 do. Hello folks, it's the 25th of May 2017. Welcome. I've got here uh, just over six pounds of clay. I've actually added a little bit of children's play sand, sort of kneaded it into the into the clay. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is throw a bowl. I don't know if I'm up for it, but we're going to give it a shot. clay up. I like to I like to cone my clay up you know before I throw it and then and then center it down Yeah, thinking of a bowl. Yeah, kind of nice, nice bowl with a nice form, you know. about bowls is you you want to really concentrate on getting the inside uh, right don't worry too much about the outside I mean roughly the outside needs to be right but it's the inside form that is Are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Well, are we? We kind of are, aren't we? Yeah. I've got one of these, um, it's made from a, co a, a, a coconut shell. And it works quite well, I quite like it. Just kind of compressing the inside and
This is where this kind of wheel comes into its own because you get a good, good control of the speed, you know. When you're coming out like this wide from the center, you want to be able to Just your speed. Which you can't do with an electric wheel. Electric wheels are very difficult to get. Get the right speed that you want. Uh, at least I think so. It's kind of important at this stage, you know, when you've got it going out wide, like this, that you, the, the clay, you know, wants to be, you want to have the clay on centre because if it's not on centre, it would be very easy for it now to get into a wobble, you know. This is still, still running uh, reasonably. Let's just bring the camera in for the detail here. Oops. Um, de, 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 de. Yeah. So narrowish foot turned over, turned over rim there. You see. Um, inside here. It's got a little hollow there and it's slightly raised here, which at this stage I can actually rectify that um, when it's when it's leather hard. Uh, let's just, just bring this in here a touch just for a bit of detail there, just on that rim there. Yeah. La, la, la. Uh, keep the, the, the rim nicely and evenly watered because you don't want to hit a dry spot. Now I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to first of all just work just down here, touch. Be a bit careful, it's very easy at this stage to, to knock it, so to speak, and just get it going out of whack. So this rim, actually, you see, when you have a change of contour, like we've got going on here right now, um, what I mean is, let's say this is one contour here, but instead of just continuing that line up, we've, we've bent it over, you see. Well, that's like, think of a piece of, think of a piece of angle iron. How strong is a piece of angle iron compared to a piece of flat bar? All right. So we added by adding this change of contour here. 
we're adding a piece of angle iron into the into the into the structure of the pot. Now that that is going to add a lot of a lot of strength to the top of the pot. And it's the top of the pot you see that holds that holds the the form, the rest of the form. So the inside form here, I can um, I can fine tune that a little bit when it's leather hard. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is this absolutely fine for now, and I'll just I'll just fine tune it. It's got a very slight corner there. So let me just uh, grab my leather. Okay, let's hold the leather over the, the rim of the pot like that. Okay. Don't forget to leather the rims of your pots. All right. Yeah. I think that, let's just pull back the camera touch. Yeah. Yeah, so there it is. I know somebody will say, Simon, how how wide is that? And I don't know. But we'll measure it. <laughs> we will measure. It is like nearly 15 inches. In width, six, just over six pounds of clay. Okay, there it is. All right, folks. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us here on my channel. And um, please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. And we do have workshop spaces in August. I think we have. Bub, bub, bub. I think we may have one space in July and then in August we have I've got two workshops in August 5th and 6th I think and something like the 19th and 20th check on my website but yeah we've got I've got vacancies there some vacancies if anybody's interested for a keep practicing workshop uh, getting down to basics throwing hand postures your wheel speed, um, you know, ha basically getting getting to grips with really uh, some of the basics. I think it's pretty pretty important. Probably ninety percent of people come here. Um, I'll just show you here. We just had a workshop, and this is very very typical. These are. I try to get try to get people to throw uh, a simple cylinder. In fact, I'm not sure if one of these might be mine here. I don't know if it's that one. But you see, now you may think, oh, they look fine, Simon. They're all nice cylinders. Well, they're ah, oh, that looks like my one. I tried to get everybody to 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 throw that, which is a Oh, that one is another one of mine there. You see, that was a sample. And these are people's efforts, you see, to try to throw to throw a cylinder, to throw a straight cylinder. That's so important, isn't it? And to learn to throw to a gauge. That is very important. And I try to get people, as soon as they're able, on to throwing, throwing to a gauge with a, a stick gauge, which is like this. Okay, anyway. If that is, if that, if you think that you fall into that category and you'd like to learn how to throw cylinders better than you do, maybe, then think about that and contact me and uh, come along. Okay, folks, thanks a lot. And as always, keep practicing. This pot now, I didn't throw it on a bat. I'm just going to torch it a little bit and warm it up. 
and um, and then I will um, maybe just again with this just rectify this just a little bit here okay folks hey I'll see you in the next video thanks a lot bye bye